Hello, cousin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Big Mama Cooks, and here I make mom level recipes made easy, and I air fry them too. Today's recipe is going to be a delicious beef stew. This is two hours on a medium fire. And if you want to make this in a pressure cooker, I'm gonna have some steps for that too. Let's get right to it. All of the ingredients are going to be listed in the bottom bar, but I'm gonna be working with two pounds of chuck beef, some yellow and orange seasoning packets, black pepper, onion powder, cumin, sofrito, Worcester shear, bay leaves, onion, potatoes, and carrots. Here I have my washed two pounds of chuck beef and I'm gonna start by seasoning. I'm gonna be using one orange seasoning packet and two yellow seasoning packets. I'd like to note that I like to use the seasoning packets from the Accent brand. These are all purpose seasoning packets. The orange ones have culantri achote for color and the yellow is the original flavor. I like to use this brand because they give perfect color, never too orange, never too yellow, and they're never salty. I'm gonna be adding all of the condiments that I mentioned before. Everything is gonna be listed in the bottom bar and I'm gonna be adding one tablespoon of sofrito. My sofrito recipe is already on my channel. I'm gonna mix everything really well together to get these flavors going and well combined. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in two tablespoons of Worcestershire. Worcestershire. I don't know how to say this word, but in Spanish it's known as salsa inglesa. So two tablespoons of salsa inglesa and again back to mixing and incorporating all of these flavors. Once I'm finished seasoning my meat, I'm going to put this in the fridge covered up with aluminum foil for an hour before we start cooking. Once it's cooking time, I'm going to have a pot going on medium high heat and I'm going to add one tablespoon of oil and one chopped up red onion. It doesn't have to be red onion, you can also use white onion, but I was using red onion because I was out of white and yellow onions. Once my onion is translucent, I'm going to add in my meat and I'm going to allow it to get some color. And this is going to go, I'm going to say for two to three minutes per side. And once it reaches the color that I want it to reach, I am going to add some water. I covered the meat with about three cups of water and I added two bay leaves to the pot. I covered my pot and I lowered my flame to medium low heat for one hour. At the end of the one hour when I come back, I needed to add more water to the pot. So I went ahead and I added another two to three cups of water along with some chicken bouillon cube, just one chicken bouillon cube for added flavor. And then I added my peeled and cut potatoes and carrots. This is completely optional, but to me it's gonna be stew if there's no potatoes and carrots in it and then I covered my pot again now on medium heat so we slightly raised the flame for one hour and while this is going I want to give some information on pressure cooking I love pressure cooking and I prefer to pressure cook as opposed to braising the long way but I understand that my youtubers we need to learn the basics first and then we do the hard stuff if you were to pressure you are going to season the meat the same way I did and you're also going to sear it give it some color the same way I did and then when you close the lid to actually pressure cook all it takes is 35 minutes it's your potatoes will be breaking down because again you're pressure cooking and not stove cooking but it's the same thing and after that one hour we are going to lower the flame now back to low for 20 minutes yes your potatoes are going to be breaking down but to me that's the magic of beef stew and i like a really soft carrot as well if you need to add more water at this point go right ahead and close the pot because we're almost done at the end of those 20 minutes, look at that cousin. It was two hours and 20 minutes of a labor of love and it falls completely apart just like butter. Look, I broke that down with a wooden spoon. If you have a partner who is a meat and potatoes kind of person, this is their love language right here. You make this for them and they feel the love. I'm just gonna remove the bay leaves and I'm gonna serve with some white right this is absolutely delicious if you make this for your significant other i promise they are just going to feel homely loved and cared for cooking really is a love language cousin i hope you enjoyed this video leave a comment don't forget to hit like don't forget to subscribe and i will see you on the next one thank you for watching